five people died after a hot air balloon crash in Albuquerque, New Mexico, authorities said on Saturday. A Cameroon 0120 hot air balloon hit a power line just after 7 a.m. about six miles west of Albuquerque's Sunport International Airport, authorities said. The basket in which the passengers were carrying was torn from the envelope, broke and caught fire. The basket fell about 30 meters, the Albuquerque Fire and Rescue Service told. The envelope continued and authorities said they found it more than a mile south of the crash site. Aerial and ground photo photos of the crime scene show that it ended up in the backyard. The balloon just dropped guys, it hit a power pole, said astonished witness Josh Perez during a live Facebook video he recorded near the crash site. Oh my god, that's sad. Police estimated the ages of the victims at 40 to 60 years. Four people, two men including the pilot and two women were reported dead following the crash. Police confirmed on Saturday afternoon that a man who was taken to the hospital in a serious condition had also died. Our prayers go out to the friends and families of the five people who tragically lost their lives, Albuquerque police said on social media. All of the victims lived in central New Mexico, according to Albuquerque Mayor Tim Kello. He identified the two victims as Martin Martinez, 59, a former Albuquerque police officer, and his wife Mary Martinez, 62. The names of the other three victims have not been disclosed until the families are notified, the mayor said. Every time we look up into the sky and see these beautiful balloons or see the balloon party, we always think of the beautiful things we have in our community. But we also know that accidents happen sometimes, he told Keller at a news conference on Saturday afternoon. This is a tragedy that feels unique, a unique blow at a home here in Albuquerque and in the balloon community. Keller said it was too soon to say the, what caused the crash. The Federal Aviation Administration and the National Transportation Safety Board are investigating. Power was initially cut off for more than 13,000 local customers after the accident, though it has since been restored. Thanks.